It was a slow commute Wednesday in the early morning hours. The snow switching over to sleet and freezing rain. The speeds on the highway dropped to 45 miles per hour. As daylight arrived, many things had a coating of ice, including Mo Hastings' car. Still, she was taking this in stride. I'm used to this, New Hampshire. This is just the first of two storms in two days. The next storm could dump six to 12 inches of snow in parts of New Hampshire. That has Hastings excited. I'm pumped. If it's snow, as long as it's not ice, I'm ready for it. Excited is not the word that comes to Arthur Asneve's mind as he shoveled a walkway, asked how it's going. Just ducky, it's a lot of fun. As far as the storm coming tomorrow, Asneve says he'll deal with that when it comes. As for why he didn't clear some of the snow last night. Wait until this morning, get the, so there's some more traction. Otherwise it would have been glare ice. Just down the street, glare ice was what they were striving for. Crews busy clearing a pond in anticipation of this weekend's hockey tournament. The expected snow, a bit of uncharted territory. Biggest snowstorm we've had is maybe one or two inches, and that was during the tournament. For plow drivers, these back-to-back -back storms mean long hours. Snowed all day yesterday and then kept coming all night, so it's kept us busy, but we're doing well keeping up with it. Reardon says it's a matter of pacing yourself, resting when you can, and then going back at it. As of right now, a snow emergency has not been declared in Manchester for the overnight, but keep an eye out for those flashing lights atop some intersections. That'll let you know if the snow emergency has been declared. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.